Good evening, YouTube. D from here, and today we are going to see Godzilla versus Kong. You may have seen. Uh, wait, cut to the clip from Monday. Good evening, YouTube. D from yeah! here, and we're back with another video. And today, yeah, baby. We're gonna, wait, don't. We're not going to tell you what movie it is, but me and Joel are going to recreate it. All right, watch. Wait, Joel, stop, stop. All right. Booga booga booga! <laughs> boom boom boom! <laughs> and then. Boom! Boom 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 the newest movie and the best movie that's coming out. Oh, it's already out. We're seeing it tonight, a Monday night, which is very exciting and perfect night. <laughs> All right, this is Godzilla when he sees a city full of innocent people. <laughs> Don't hurt there. I'm so I mean, Finish it, come on. The whole thing. <laughs> Little campus golf. <laughs> Alright, get this. Okay. Get this for the. Oh! My Yes, Derek! <laughs> That stupid concrete. Do you have anything to say about that shot? Concrete got in the way. Pavement. It's not my fault. Thank you. Okay. There's dirt on my phone. Okay. Here's where she fell. Nice, Luke. Yes. Oh. Joel, money. Get in the hole! <laughs> Sewer ball. Sewer ball. Oh, we almost went on Monday, but then we didn't. Now it's Thursday and we're finally seeing this movie. I'm very hyped. I'm very amped. It smells like, it smells like I'm farther in here. It, we're in the car now and we're driving to the theater. And we're not going to AMC this time because it was too expensive. I'm sorry, even though I am a, st a stockholder of AMC, I will not be supporting my company tonight. That sounds good. AMD. AMD is the, is the AMD chip company. Is Joel! Eyes on the road! AMD oh my goodness! Not in 4K, Joel does not have his eyes on the road. This is unbelievable. Well, uh, very excited. Uh, bit of background. I'm an avid Godzilla um, Kong fan. Probably one of the few dedicated Godzilla Kong fans that are still around. Uh, keep the fan base alive. Very excited. Godzilla vs. Kong was a cult classic. One of the best movies. Tonight, could make or break the franchise. Came in a mile today. Really? Yeah, are you impressed? I'm pretty, very impressed. I'm pretty new. Yeah. Well, for baseball, you run to like rehab your arm and stuff. Oh, really? Yeah. That's, and it's good, like, to be conditioned. You know what I mean? That's good. I'm proud of you, Jordan. What's that sound? Is eight good? I don't know. What That's good. High five. Did you get it? Music! Mm. <laughs> you ready, ready? Somebody else on What? Uh, don't worry, don't worry. This music's DJ in the house, baby. All right, all right, yeah. For, for the re-release of Phantom Menace in theaters. Is this Star Wars? Luke, are you yeah. excited for Godzilla vs. Kong? How do you feel? Y yes, I'm very excited. I know nothing about the lore, really, but... I've seen one of the movies and it was really good. And I'm excited to watch them fight. That's all I'm really watching it for, to be honest. Two hours of fight. And I hope no dialogue. Uh, and that's what we're here for. Um, actually, there is actually a lot of human dialogue. And the character arcs are very important. In the events of the Monsterverse films, Godzilla's ancestors and Kong's ancient family clashed in the transport between the Jordan's capturing all the lore. Into 20 minute ride. What up, brothers? What up, brothers? There's actually a lot of lore. These, these movies are pretty deep if you really think about it. It's actually a lot of lessons to be learned. Me when we can imagine the magic of movies and more. Okay. Are you ready? Yep. So they agreed to kill the the people. <laughs> they agreed to kill the electronic Godzilla yeah. monster yep. in the last movie. Yep. 
but at the end of it they still were like not really friends oh yeah but kong laid down his axe yep so godzilla just walked away that was so huge. they don't necessarily have a pact oh and get along that well oh yeah yeah, yeah. but on the understanding is that they're on good terms right now yeah good they're kind of friends should we take this kung fu panda thing i would like this in my dorm this is so stinking cool big blue man star wars is giving us two things <laughs> They made, watch they made Fall Guys into a movie. <laughs> yeah! Hmm, I would love to. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this comically large water fountain. <laughs> the forbidden popcorn. <laughs> All right, there's no one in the theater, so this is a once in a lifetime opportunity to run around the whole circumference of the theater. Here we go. T time. Can I join? Wait, 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 wait. Okay, I'll, I'll start here. <laughs> go, 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 go. Derek, you're about like at five minute pace. Come on. Still out of breath. <laughs> First, push again to turn heat off. It's all about personalized comfort for your enjoyment. That movie was absolutely stinking, insane, life changing, unbelievable. Everything you could have asked for, they delivered on. Godzilla X Kong, best movie of the year. We'll see you at the Oscars next year. <laughs> we got a rare Adams Family pinball machine. This guy didn't believe me when I told him that pinball machines could be rare. But the truth is in the pudding. That's what the price is. The price is what? Completely express how I'm feeling at this moment. It was also like yeah, super man. predictable, but. <laughs> we did it. Yeah. Chad? You have two of those? Five. Uh, we have five. Five? Yeah. Wait, what? What'd you say? Arby's! Arby's? <laughs> <laughs> I get the bag and tumble it. You get the bag and fumble it. I got the Arby's. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Where'd the bug go? Where'd the giant bug go? Where'd it go? On the chair. Giant bug randomly scurries about. It's a centipede. This is a reference to uh, Godzilla X Kong. Joel closed all three rings. Give me a piece. Jeez. I'm gonna throw it away. It's rolling. Hello, YouTube. Here Good we evening, are. Good evening. Here we are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We just Good watched evening. the Godzilla and then we are done. We just da, 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 da. got back, back, back from. Um, I'm Jordan, and <laughs> I'm gonna graduate with a. We're back from what? Godzilla. <laughs> We're back from Godzilla X Kong, and we have something to say. But who wants to go first? Should we go to line? Joel. Should we go to line? Yeah. Uh, well, my honest thoughts, I was actually pretty good. I, that was the first Godzilla movie I'd, or Kong movie I'd seen all the way through. Uh, the last one I was, uh, uh, removed from the room partway through due to other commitments. Um, but I thought it was very good. Sorry, that sounds, that sounds horrible. It was great. He was evicted. He had to poop. <laughs> That's what it is, Jordan. Oh, oh, nice. I thought it was a good movie. Uh, I give it a point. I get an honest eight and a half out of ten. The action was good. The final scene was a little bit shorter than I expected it to be. I literally texted Brooke. She like, asked, like, when are you going to get back? And I was like, uh, probably not for a little bit. The final fight is like just starting and then it ended in like ten minutes. And then also, uh, like, their whole speed when 
Kong met other guy for the first time and got frostbite, then they were just like, oh, what about Project X, spoiler alert, that has this mega contraption that fixes everything and happens to cure frostbite that's in this exact area. And they're like, what? No way. So it's very realistic. I think that it's a very realistic movie. The character Thank development you. of the humans was mid to low, but the rest of it was good. And my rating is 8.5 out of 10. Good night. That's, that's high for that's, what you were just saying. Yeah, yeah you kind of high. trashed it and then gave it 8.5. Uh, well, I like the, I like the 8.5 like is very high. 5 is average. Oh, yeah. It's like, okay, so mm, 7.5. It's maybe. like 7 is like average. 7.5. No. I'm going to give Godzilla X Kong a 7 out of 10. Ooh. I, I really liked the fight scenes, but I and I also liked the world building they tried to do. I think that was cool. Mm. Honestly, I think if they made the movie two and a half hours, it might have been better. Mm. I would have been more invested in the story, more invested in the characters. Loki, I was kind of falling asleep in the first like 10 minutes. <laughs> I was like, I'm a little bit bored right now, to be honest. But it picked up towards the end, and it was good. So I liked the final fight. I Yeah, I agree it was a little bit short, but... I think it was overall a good movie, and, mm. you know, I would definitely go back and watch it again, you know, if it comes on HBO Max or whatever, so, yeah, solid, 7 out of 10. Well, personally, I am an avid Godzilla Kong Universe supporter, Cinematic Universe, Monster Cinematic Universe is best Cinematic Universe, and so I am very invested in this franchise. So going into this, I was very hyped because I was worried that Godzilla vs. Kong was going to be the last movie they made, and that would have been devastating. But no, we came back with this one, and I'm going to... It was pretty heat, pretty gas. I don't know if I like it more than Godzilla vs. Kong, but it's pretty close. I don't know. You got... Uh, I kind of, you know, you can't... Well, you could have a move. You could have two hours of just big monster fights, but I feel like it was probably an hour of that and an hour of world building stuff. Mm -hmm. And I kind of like the Hollow Earth business, but honestly, I feel like it wasn't bad. I feel like the lore was kind of cool. I like they brought back the the conspiracy theory guy who was funny, and I like when the uh, security guard got eaten. That was a good good scene. I like the evil monkey. Uh, bam. I like when Godzilla ate the nuclear reactor. That was pretty awesome. I, will, I feel like there was a good amount of fights spread between, but I agree with Joel that maybe the last fight was a little short. A little bit. But I feel like maybe they just ran out of money to mm -hmm. make the CGI. But it was pretty epic. And I like the power fist of Kong. Mm -hmm. But... Clearly, Kong's a fan favorite, but I'm a Godzilla fan, and I want more Godzilla time. But there was still a lot. It was all, overall pretty heat, and I will give it a 9 out of wow. 10. Wow. Wow. That's high. I, Precedent the, the Monster Universe is my favorite current ongoing cinematic universe right now above Marvel because Marvel's tanked. Everything else tanked, but we still have the Monster Universe Keep it going. Amazing. Breathtaking. Great film. Awesome. Life-changing. No Millie Bobby Brown in this one. Uh, she's gone. They couldn't afford her anymore. It was pretty heat. Keep it going. Everyone go watch the movie so we get another one. Because I need another. Thank you to Arby's for the free beef and cheddar. Jordan. Well, all good insight tonight. Um... You know, for me, my expectations were pretty low going into it. I kind of just was there to hang out with friends and um, mm -hmm. enjoy a movie. But uh, I think, you know, some of it was a little corny, especially the ending um, with um, her adopted daughter being like, my home is where you're at. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's right. that, that was kind of corny. And some of the humor was also a little, uh, a little corny too. But you know what? Uh, if you're going in wanting to laugh and wanting to have a good time, I think it really um, just shifts your... Um, I guess outlook on it. So your perspective on it. So I think overall, I would probably give it a six out of 10. I think that's above average. Um, overall experience was good. Um, I'd imagine theaters and White Bear, um, 
you know, they had the reclining seats and everything. Mm. Shout out Wiper. Could have yeah. heated the seats too. I didn't. I was a little warm. But um, yeah, you know, I think overall, like the movie, I think the my favorite parts were the world building when they were exploring um, mm. Hollow Earth. And then also what was below that? The Double. subterranean realm. Subterranean realm. Hollow, more yeah. Hollow Earth. The subterranean realm. Hollow, and Hollow then Earth. I would say my favorite fight scene actually wasn't even the last one because I thought that was kind of stupid. Yeah. It was probably the when he was fighting um, the Scar King for the first time. Oh, oh, Scar right, King yeah. with his whip. Yeah. Chain like, whip. I'm and sorry. then he was how he was directing the ice ice oh, Godzilla cool. basically. Um, that was a cool scene yeah. when he got the frostbite and whatnot. Mm-hmm. Um, personally... I'm a Kong fan, um, not to, you know, be an op to Derek, but, you know, I think, I think, uh, yes, there are some perks to having Godzilla being protector of the earth, um, but at the same time, like, he just waltzes through, like, he doesn't care about anybody's lives, and in reality, I think he's really just out there for his own good, and, um, not for anybody else, like, he just, he'll trap, or go tramping through stinking, Rome, Italy, and, like, just destroying places that are historically, like, the pyramids. Like, what are you doing, guy? Like, just, I know, I don't know. I think Kong's a little bit more respectful of the human race. I think overall, you know, um, the the Iwi tribes was a really cool part of it, too. That was another. When they, like, discover, and then she pushes the button, and the water comes, and they cool. discover, like, That's the sick. whole place. Yeah. And, um, that, was, that was a really cool scene. Uh, I like that. Um, yeah, and then the the conspiracy theorist guy, he was a good ad. Mm. I think he was probably the, the, the relief. yes, comedic relief for the movie. Yeah. I thought he was funny. Um, a little bit forced at times. But yeah, but, you know, yeah. you know, like I said, like, if you're, if you're wanting to laugh, I think you'll, okay. you'll get a good laugh from it. So, um, you know, overall, I'd say 6 out of 10. I think that's a pretty good rating um, for the movie because I think, really, it wasn't that great of a movie, but it was it was a good experience for me, so... Also, last final thought, uh, like the final like new Titan or whatever that was like came to like bring the two together or whatever. I felt like it being Mothra. A, I felt like Moth like it being a, it being a moth was kind of lame. I felt they kind of yeah, that was like a like a flying. That's the lore. Or like some <laughs> kind the of lore. like yeah, Mothra. But they, but they could have like <laughs> she's in, in the, like, the whole like prophesy <laughs> like pro- the prophet the prophecy like in the temple it could have had like be different, but. I thought that's why the choice of Titan for like bringing together could have been better than a moth. They're like, like at least a butterfly if you wanted to be that way. But they chose um, it in like the fifties. Oh, when well, they made the first one. Well, fifties. Like, like the so. sequel, they had like a Mothra Godzilla movie. So they can't. Here's really another thing I want to add too. I didn't really understand, and maybe this is because I didn't watch many of the other movies. I didn't really understand the point of the Ice Godzilla guy. Like, what was his? Like, he was just being controlled by. Scar King, and then like all of a sudden that little piece of, you know, shard breaks, and then he goes after Scar King. Like I don't know, I didn't get that. I also, I that wasn't like in was any good. of the other movies, so okay. yeah, they just kind of threw that in. Yeah, I, that, good... that part was kind of stupid to me. Where like yeah. that's all it took. Well, I think, was... I, think, I think it's because they want to have like like a Godzilla comparison. So they have a Godzilla. Yeah, Godzilla, uh, Godzilla that's definitely that, that was pretty cool. It definitely also yeah. that initial like. Slow mo yeah. jump when that was both. cool. That was sick. That was, that was I, sick. I think. Luke well, I also right. liked. I liked the little, the little monkey, baby monkey, the baby mm-hmm. monkey. Yeah. That oh, he was. That. He was the hero. I think you don't. They don't win that battle at the end. The fight at the end no. without the little monkey because he's the one that destroys the glass shard that controls the ice Godzilla. So that's true. Yeah. He's really the hero. Yeah. I'm not a fan of Kong or Godzilla. I'm a fan of that little monkey. Wow. What, do we know what his name was? The amount of story he told, baby monkey. The yeah. amount of emotional weight that he carried with no words said is truly a testament to the CGI team. You could feel. And it, it went from enemies to friends, too. Wow. Because at the beginning, when they first met, Kong reaches out his hand, and, and he bites, bites his, his finger. Mm. But then by the end of it, they're best friends, and he saves the day. So Symbolism. Culture change. Now, no, I think, I think now that's Kong really good. Now the king Really good plot. Well done. Well done, writers. Yeah. I think Luke was right. It should have been in like two and a half hours, not two hours. More fights. But I honestly think they were just trying to save a little money on the budget because yeah. uh, half the movie is just CGI. So, you know, you got to cut some corners maybe a little bit. Yeah, they. I will say they cut away from two fights. They cut away from the Godzilla versus 
the, what what was the name of the guy under oh, in the, the water? Ty, Timus or Ty, Ty, yeah, Tim, 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 whatever his name uh, is. I got cut up. Yeah, they like cut that, and then they also Kong was fighting the the other like lizard guy in the water, like electric oh, yeah, you or whatever. Oh. They cut away from that too. Yeah. So I kind of felt cheated out of some fight scenes, mm. but yeah. True. Probably because like those fish are kind of. Hard I think you know, but the point of that too is to say that they kind of defeated them with a lot of ease. You know, it mm. wasn't that hard. You know, yeah. they were just they were just better. Uh, they were just better. Yeah. They were they're just, just like that. Yeah. Actually, I think my favorite scene of the whole movie, I think probably was yeah. when he first got down there and like I was saying, like how he uh. bit his hand. And he starts, he grabs him, he starts whipping him oh, around against the, other, <laughs> against the other guy. That was the funniest, that was I think that was that the was best scene of the whole movie. Was awesome. But then, you know, they become friends at the end. So. Jordan, Jordan, before the movie, uh, reads about Kong. Kong can use anything as a weapon. Bro, that is not a tool. It starts whipping around a monkey. Becomes his favorite part of the movie. <laughs> so a testament to yeah. truly how good that yeah, movie Kong's was. Kong's strength is being able to use anything as a weapon. So. True. Godzilla just has little arms. But he yeah. uses his breath. Yeah. Oh. They went to Rio in the final fight, and they had Christ the Redeemer statue. And uh, me and Joel were talking. We're like, they better not destroy it. And they didn't. They didn't destroy it. They destroyed every building except for Jesus. Yeah. And that made the movie a whole lot better. Also, shout out Volkswagen for that product placement. Perfect. I thought it was a car commercial in the middle of the show. So. Bam. Bam. Yeah. Gotta make back that CJ money somehow. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks. Wow. Good night. Well. Comment so, yeah. below if you've seen it and what your thoughts are.